In Born This Way news. Oh, not this part. Submitted by AJ from New Jersey. What up, Joy-Z. AJ? Joyzy. Scientists have uncovered genes linked to being transgender. What? Oh, how That's fucking genetic. cool. Were, were scientists like, you been transgender, homie? <laughs> Is, is that the discovery? Like, yeah. So they. It's been predetermined while you were already in your mother's womb. All people against it are like, no, get rid of this information. Yeah. So scientists are saying that they have uncovered 20 genes linked to being transgender. That's oh shit. Tight. That makes it supports sense. Supports the claims that you people are born. born this way. You don't choose to be this. Same way. with um being homosexual. Like, yep. It, it makes sense right. that it's yeah. genetic. Yeah. Yep. Makes sense. I heard from somewhere that it was if it's from the mom's side of the family and so is balding. Huh. It's yeah. carried on through the balding mom. Balding is on the side. I don't know about the homosexual gene. I don't know that. I don't know. But if my son's super duper flaming, I'm gonna be like, that's probably you Your Jess. Your mom's side. <laughs> 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 and twins run in the family too. Yes. Yeah, they're like genetic. That's cool. Yeah. And they could be gay twins. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We have a friend genetic. that has gay twin brothers. Oh yeah, they both. Oh wait, I know. Oh, yeah. I know some guys they shared like the same DNA. That are gay. Or they're, he's not gay, but uh, his brother's gay, but they're twins, but one straight. Huh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there's those. We know too. them too. So this is this is pretty dope for the transgender community. Hell yeah. Just shove it in everyone's faces, like you see. <laughs> All See? the haters. Yeah. yeah. Are there haters though, or is it just like Hell yeah. Stalker? They're, they're yeah. haters. Yeah. Fox yeah. Ton. There are a lot of people that say it's psychological and yeah. that like it had, Like shock therapy. Like it yeah. started way back in the day. Like you gotta get it out of you. Like we gotta pray it out. Shock therapy, fucking medication, all that shit. That it's a mental disorder. Yeah, I just don't know where these people are. So I'm just kind of confused. Like, is it really the majority? Is it half of the population? Is it a small, like who are these people? Cause like, I'm just I think like, it's the non-thinking people. Like I wouldn't even be surprised if my dad thought that. Well, no, that- be if, like, Cause my dad's so old, old fashioned, he probably thinks gay, being gay is a choice or your yeah. environment made you that way. Or he probably thinks like if you're transgender and you feel like you're stuck in the wrong body, you need to sort your shit out. There's more important things to do. Like get a job before you want to cut your dick off. Like my dad's probably part of the old school mentality. In their defense, cause I've argued with these people before. Your and dad like, too? No, 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 my dad's, not like that. Oh, my dad's not like that either. But, but like, <laughs> but I've argued with like some some people that I think are very intelligent. They just don't quite understand, or they're trying to trying to understand, and like that the way that they can accept things is after they can under, have a full understanding of it. And I think before there was scientific evidence, in their minds, it was still up for a debate and they just wanted to find a way to help people. Because there are people that they're not trying to be ignorant, they just want to do the best thing to help. and. And if there's no scientific evidence, then they can say, well, maybe it's mm. um, a mental disorder. And so I don't think everyone's just like a hater, like, oh, they chose that life. Like, I think some people are genuinely like, well, since there's no proof yet that it's just make like up their own assumptions. That maybe it's this, maybe we could try this. And, and those people, I think, are like, I think you should judge people by intent rather than like, what they're actually what they're, saying. Yeah, because now that there's scientific evidence, now they, they, they'd probably be ones to accept that and be like, oh, well, then I was wrong. That's really dope, what you yeah. just said. That's like really fucking dope. Thanks. <laughs> Asian, old Asian people don't listen to science. They don't believe, they just yeah. think it's a science is just a suggestion, just like religion. They're like offended by it. Yeah, they're just like, si- proof. I could write anything in a newspaper and that could be proof too. Because my, my dad would be the one I'd be like, oh, that's awesome that there's all this scientific evidence, but uh, have you really tried like fucking a guy hooker or a girl hooker to really figure out like what you want to be? Like that would be his solution. And then oh. you'd be like, there's facts, dad. And he'd be like, I don't know. The facts don't tell you everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good bumper sticker. <laughs> facts don't tell you everything. <laughs> I feel like that would be a Joe shirt. Yeah. Max, don't tell you everything. <laughs> That's a great shirt to have. <laughs> that could be a JK Bird shirt for real. So. Facts don't everything tell you changes. everything. I don't believe in facts. <laughs> <laughs> Alternative facts. Yeah, I feel like it's kind of like this weird witch hunt almost for like anti-gay, anti-transgender people because like maybe because I live in LA and I'm surrounded by people who just it's not something that even is up for debate. It's like yeah. they exist. And also like just because I'm a history buff and I know how this is go- this has yeah. been going on for exactly. ancient times, yeah. homosexuality, trans all that stuff. And it's like, well, aside from 
you know, Christianity and these different religions that probably shun that stuff, it's been a part of culture like yeah. for, for so many years. So I'm just like, why is this new? Did you watch that movie, The Danish Girl? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And that was like way, way back then. That was a good ass. Yeah. yeah. Was that the first time someone tried to do a surgical procedure? Yeah. What's that? What is it about? Uh, it's about this guy who's, well, a girl who's transgender and he's, um, he doesn't realize it yet. He was though. born a dude though. Yeah, he was born a dude and then um, was, yeah, married to this beautiful woman. And then for fun, like, she's like, hey, dress, wear my dress or whatever. She was painting something. Right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he really likes it. And then he starts kind of wearing her clothes a lot more and then he like realizes that he's he thinks he's a woman and it's really hard it's really hard for both parties just like as I imagine it is now like because um, he's like I have this is me this is who I really am and she's like no but I want my husband back and he's like but this is this is who I am and so eventually she supports him and uh, he wants to get a full sex change and yeah. Um, back then, like they didn't have that sort of technology or, or surgical procedure, but they, he was kind of like a guinea pig, mm -hmm. or she, and um, and then she, so she went through with it. I don't want to spoil the movie, but like, science wasn't as good back then, so it was a so sweet story up, though. They chopped off, they chopped up the weenies. <laughs> I don't know. And they destroyed it. You have to watch it. It's a great movie. It's, it's a, a great sweet movie. story. It's really good, and it's and it's, it brings like the humanity to it, like the of what what you go through when you're born into a body that you don't identify with. I live that every day because and I'm supposed to be a six foot maniac. Like <laughs> well, you got the maniac part. I did. Yes. But that's only one third of the of the rest. You're like I can't conquer the world like this. No. <laughs> No, but I'm Napoleon can five, do it. Uh, I'm five six. In that era, I would have been an actually like buff yeah. guy. Yeah. Like like three hundred years ago, I would have been the man. Wasn't Napoleon about that height? Like five. Yeah, six? we're like five six. Yeah. But so were all the other European guys. Yeah, everyone was like five, five three or five, something. Yeah. Have you seen those little soldier outfits? Yeah, they're, they're cute. fucking cute. <laughs> those warriors are five three and shit. Did you guys go to the army museum in Paris? Yep. Uh, like their uniforms, literally, like from shoulder to shoulder, was like this. It, you, it, <laughs> it looks like your clothes. size, Tiff. No way. Yeah, the soldiers were like your size. Dang. Male soldiers. The little doors back then, like like hobbit doors. That's just me on an everyday fucking. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> Everything's fucking. We're going your direction. At yeah. least you're you're leading. You're ahead of the curve. <laughs> you know, like even the people, like the Netherlands, all the people there. I thought they were always tall and big. Yeah, me too. But they weren't. Huh. No, there's like yeah. a graph. It just, their nutrition got better. Nutrition <laughs> and like bre Hygiene, breeding. Nutrition. Breeding, yeah, breeding tall up. with tall. Yeah, yeah but Survival it's- Survival of the fittest. A recent phenomenon within a couple hundred years. It's nothing, like they haven't been like that the whole time. So just as the world is getting more populated, we're also getting bigger. They found out there's steroids, there's steroids in the water over there. Probably. <laughs> I need that water. More protein. Yeah. Is there anything that you guys feel like, what we're talking about here, like you just feel like you were just born with that and nothing around your environment affected it? Um, I've always, always loved water, like since I was a kid. So when I see the beach, when I see a swimming pool, I've always loved being in water. So maybe I was supposed water to Water science though. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't realize Astrology. that. Astrology. But maybe I, I was, like fire. was born to be fish. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fire sign. But I like water too. Yeah, you no. can't like both. <laughs> <laughs> just putting your butt down, you can't. But next to water, I just feel really calm. I just really like it. I always wanted to be a dude, but that was not because I identified with being a dude. I just, the dudes got all the cooler things in my Same eyes. Way. Like, yeah. They got the better toys, the better Legos. They got like, I wanted to be a comedian and they were all like guys, the guys, the ones that I liked were guys. And I just, I just liked that stuff better. Like I liked baseball and yep. We just have all the fun <laughs> shit. She's all sad now. But then, oh, now, now we're interested like, in dolls and stuff. Never, I thought they were freaky. I yeah. thought dolls were like, you freaked me out. yeah, I didn't like things that looked like people. I love like Barbies because when I played with it, I used to get like a raging boner. I didn't even know why. That's oh. so true. Yeah. I would just take all the clothes off. Sexual I know. I would like force myself to play with my little cousin and be like, this is supposed to be fun. Yeah. Right? This is fun. I like stuffed animals. You know what girls had that I wish I had? 
is the fucking easy bake ovens and the cooking that's shit. That's up, that's cool. I wish I had that too, damn. Yeah, me I too. too. I didn't have that. I wish that. I had that. I was like, I would see the commercial and I'm like, fuck, I want that too, but that's for girls. So bad, me too. I got one when I was 20. Oh. <laughs> That's dope. <laughs> but then I never. You could have gotten a real oven, a real like. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like fulfilling my childhood yeah, I, dream of owning one. But then like I opened it, I tried freaking. I'm just like, eh. I ended up giving it to my like my little cousin or something. So she enjoyed it. I was like, oh.